feeling a little bit anxious about, you know, taking the boat out of the river for the first time. So I think we're going to have to probably get some help to do that, but, um, which will be fine. But while we've been here in Fort Lauderdale, we've been exploring a lot, like taking lots of walks, exploring the canals, going out to eat at lots of different restaurants. There's amazing breweries and amazing, um, there's a Las Olas Boulevard, which has awesome, an awesome Mexican restaurant, a really good Italian restaurant, like tons of little like hole in the wall places to go. And we've just been walking around. Um, I've been making sure that I have plenty of time to do my yoga, which you'll see more of. Um, I just got certified in a, a special yoga called booty yoga and it's been really fun and I love it. So. Um, between yoga, exploring, fixing, we've had a good time. Um, we spent a lot of time at West Marine, which is probably one of the biggest West Marines I've ever seen, but it has quite a bit of stuff um, available to us, and that's one of the best things about being in Fort Lauderdale is that we have a lot of resources here where we can get parts and materials and things to fix the boat. Um, but after looking at our anchor situation, we decided to get a brand new anchor, a Rockna anchor for our main anchor. And um, we decided to keep the old anchor um, as a stern anchor. So um, it's helpful to have a stern anchor, especially when you know the weather is bad or it's windy or windy. Um, a lot of times when we were sailing Tiamo, our other catamaran we would put out a stern anchor so that, that we would like... feel more secure at anchorage um, so we decided to take that other anchor off and just repair it and kind of tidy it up so here I am um, scraping it it took me quite a while to scrape it to get it down to um, where it looked good um, so I'm gonna scrape it and then I decided to paint it so it looks really good now. So now we have a good um, main anchor and then we have a, a backup extra anchor. And then we have a dinghy anchor, so things are good. And so hopefully in a few weeks we'll be ready to roll. Um, the engine is doing well. We have a few last minute things um, with electronics and safety gear. We ended up um, doing some research for the life raft and we found a company down in Miami that just took it and surfaced it. So that's good. So we didn't need a new life raft. So we have a, a newly serviced 10 person life raft. So that's really awesome. And they, um, they're delivering that soon. And then I think we're ready to go. So um, we should be north of Georgia by June 1st and hopefully um, up in the Chesapeake by, um, yeah, like mid-June. And then I guess the boat, the boat will stay there for the summer and then hopefully move it down to the Bahamas in the fall. So cheers. See you soon.